Yo, yo, people, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are coming to a close on the 2021 year. And like it says in this video, in the description or the title, it is my top 10. Well, I give an honorable mention, number 11, top 11 lures for big finesse fishing. Took me close to an hour and a half to pluck between 300 lures that I had a hard time picking. But what I did is I went and looked at a little trade that I had that I take the top 10, I guess you would say, top 10 lures, and I put it in that trade. Whenever I went fishing, these 10, well, 11 lures made it into this box out of 300. I'm gonna get these trays out of the way because these were the trays that I was looking through. I literally have them in here. That's not 300, but it's close. Mainly because there's more. All right. Top 10 people, top 10, top 10, top 10, top 10. I'm gonna start with the honorable mention, like I said, number 11. It was a hard choice picking these lures. And then looking at them now that you guys probably can't see, they're on the table. I'm gonna pick them up one by one. On the left will be the description, if it's floating, singing, so on and so forth. I'm just gonna explain why I chose that lure. Then on the right, you might see a little video clip of a fish being caught on that lure. Then in the description, it will have the links to where you can buy all of these lures. I'm gonna say here in the United States, the fastest way in most cases on majority of these lures, I would say Bay Finesse Empire. Check them out. The Hookup Tackle, check them out. I want to say Carolina Fish Tackle. I'll leave a link. I don't think that's the name of it, but I know it's in North Carolina because there's one particular lure that neither of the other two have, and this one made it in the top three. Vitally important to check the link for that one. Then you got Fullen Mills because I actually used a fly lure on a bait caster, which worked perfectly fine. There's some other companies. Like I said, the links will be in the description as I post up or hold up the lore. You can literally click at that time stamp to check it out. So number 11 from Fish USA, because I couldn't think of it until I picked it up. It is the Challenger Minnow. It is a slow sinking suspended model depending on weather i noticed that it slowly falls versus it floating more in some cases it floats which is weird it will come back up slow rise and sometimes it slow falls depending on i guess the temperature of the water and this one has a scale on it which is is that a scale that is a scale wow okay also on the left there will be like the reason why this one or how many different species of fish I've caught with it and why it made the top 10 or 11. Honorable mention, number 11, the Challenger Minnow. I wanna say this is three inches. Slow rise, slow sinking. I've caught a multitude of different types of fish on it. Pickerel, bass, I even think I've caught bluegill on it. Small, some crappies and smallmouth being the number one for this lure, Challenger Minnow. That color is amazing. I think it's called uh, something green. And I'll, like I said, all that will be in the description. That was number 11. That's not even part of the top 10. Number 10. The Whopper Popper 60. 
which can technically go in the power bay finesse category because of its weight i want to say it's it's over seven ounces or really close to my stopping point is 7.8 and then it becomes power bay finesse and then it becomes conventional each person's very different when it comes to bait finesse fishing. I chose this one as number 10 because I've only caught two targeted fish with this. And my main target with this is when I go to the river for smallmouth and this color, boom. This would be my go-to if I'm shooting for smallmouth top water, July, August, September, October, October might be pushing it, but this would be it. The Whopper Plopper 60. Number 10. Number nine. Woo. I'm going to have to say. Deer of Brick. It's a chatterbait, but it's ultra small. It has two little things on the end. I'm gonna, I'm, I know the camera's not gonna be able to show you, but it has two little things on the bottom and it makes the hook stand up. So when you start reeling, it it automatically just takes off, which is great. It like, I start reeling and it's boom, straight up. Hits the ground, boom. That number right there, every single time. I put a trailer on it and it's by Euro Tackle. The Vibe. B pie. I don't have it on here right now, but that would definitely be what I would use. Number eight. Number eight. Mm. Terror work. Po, 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 po. Why this is number eight because it it can target trout which i haven't caught trout on it yet try to hold it without it i've caught crappy on it i've caught bass i've caught bluegill and a pickerel on this thing so that's the reason why it made top 10. My top 10 bait finesse has to be a multi-species catching lure, not just trout or not just targeting one fish. This can catch multiple different fish. That to me, in my mind, or what I think is bait finesse. And I have to say, Spearhead, Ryuki 50 SP. These recently came out. Bait Finesse has, I want to say, five different colors. I think I've seen 15. I may have 12 different colors. Maybe. The Spearhead Ryuki 50 SP. I waited on this for a very long time. I usually would use the F, but I myself, I personally like suspended everything. If it's a jerk bait, it's going to have to be suspended. And speaking of suspended, after this one comes Lucky Crab Pointer 48 SP. I don't, it's kind of hard to put this in the lower. This deck definitely could have made top five. I may redo this in the future and say this is top five. And I'm only putting this at number six. Yeah, number six. Hmm. That's a tough one, man. Because this can be replaced by the next one. They'll go back and forth. This thing catches everything, everything. And the suspension on this, I might have to bump this up, man. I'm, I'm my bad, guys. True suspended, true. When I say true, it stops and it sits there. There's no up or down floating. That joint sits there. It's weird. 
how this this lore can do that in comparison to the other ones when it comes to suspended these next three are going to be the suspended minnows because there's three of them well three lures that i use that suspended it could be in any order this is number six i'm tripping guys i'm tripping the hampley Jackal. It's a top water surface lure that has a lot of action. The way that lip is made. This is another one that you can find at the Bay Finesse Empire. If you're in the US. Definitely a multi-species catching lure. I think I've caught everything on this except for trout i haven't thrown it for trout which i should have i don't know why i haven't but you think of fresh water this thing can catch them all literally all top five people top five number five mm, tough 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 call tough call because i caught my biggest fish of the year with this This is Amasu. It's gonna pop up at the bottom because I know I've ruined that name. But it's called a little bat. It has a fancy little blade design. By the hook that spins. This thing's a cheat because you technically can literally just reel this in and it will do everything for you. It's a handicap when it comes to crankbaits and it's got like a wow motion left to right. Just pause because of the way the blade's spinning. It does all of that stuff without you having to do anything. This thing catches fish, not only small fish, but big, big fish. I would say that this didn't make number one because of its targets. It targets predominantly bass. I probably could have caught a trout on it, but this thing is mainly for bass. Mainly, mainly, mainly for bass. Number four. Whew. This is a tough one. It's a fly. It's a great fish. Full of meal, sells them. You can buy them on Amazon. I don't know the name of them offhand, but in the description, you will definitely get the name. And then also on the left hand corner, you'll get all of the details. This made it in the top five because I've caught a lot of bass, pickerel, one or two bluegills, but mainly bass. If I'm trying, I caught bass now in the wintertime with this thing, which I was shocked. And they still chase this crayfish even in the winter, man. I'm just like, man, I didn't expect them to hit this. But it's a great lure. The presentation is phenomenal. You can actually throw this thing on bait casters because of the little weight that's here. Those two little weights. That's on each side. Gives it a little bit more casting distance. And then the fur, when it spreads out, it's really phenomenal. It's a nice lure. Top three, people. This is a hard one between number two and three. Because it could be either or. But which one do I pick up more? It's the reason why it makes the top two. Number three, Gang Craft, 20 Claw, 70. I only buy them in floating. They come in sinking, and they also come with, now, the single hook for true bait finesse targeting trout. I had one that I did like that before they decided to make those, and I'm like, I'll stick to these with the treble hooks and then change them out accordingly. 
And if you look carefully, this 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 was designed very well. They put a size eight on the back and a size six to the front, or that could be even smaller. That could be a 10 and eight. I could be wrong. The information will definitely be in the description or in the bottom left hand corner. The joint claw 70. You have to crank this or reel it extremely slow to get the action that everyone's requesting from the bigger version of this. Really slow, just reel it real slow and you'll see it. It'll just back and forth real slow. It will glide. A lot of people don't think it will or they don't think it has the action. You have to slow it down a lot. I've actually seen people fish with it without the tail, which was weird. But I don't think I'm gonna try that. Or maybe I will just to see if it uh if it does something different. I've seen people fish without the tail. Number two. Number two. Number two. Major craft. I think this lore might be discontinued. It's the Zoner Minnow 50 SP. Or if anyone who has it probably are overcharging for it. But it made top two because it was definitely thrown a lot. I throw this all year long. If I'm not catching fish, this is definitely coming out. This is going to come out and this is going to catch every single type of fish there is in the water at every size. I've caught bluegill, crappie, bass, pickerel, smallmouth, which is technically a bass, trout, nothing crazy, not a muskie or anything like that. This is the lower end, not the giant game. It's bait finesse before anyone gets crazy. But number two, Zoner Minnow, 50 SP. Number one, it's technically a rig, and you probably, if you watched a few of my videos, you already know where this is getting ready to go. It's a rig, and if I'm trying to catch a bass, this lure is coming out, and in fact, it actually comes out first before every other lure just to test the waters. And it is Chararaska Net Rig. This is Z-Man Copper Truce color with that Chartreuse bead. This is technically five grams. I use a 3.5. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. It has a ton of different names. Some call it down rig. Some call it the detachable rig. I call it what someone broke down to me. Andy, if he's watching this, he was the one who told me it, was, it started in Russia. Don't get me. I don't know, but I'm gonna stop there. Chabaroska rig, number one. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully, 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 it changes. I should have done 2020, and I'm not going to stall y'all too long. I'm going to hurry up and get through this. I want to say thank you all for watching. Man. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button notification bell share leave a comment on what your favorite go-to lore is and bait finesse if you're new i've actually been doing this for quite some time and i didn't know what it was called i was literally using 1.5 crankbaits and 1.0 crankbaits for smallmouth fishing a lot and then i found out the term and found a facebook page and here i am stuck I stopped conventional fishing, man, and doing all this bait from that stuff. Anyways, I want to say uh, Happy New Year. That's 2021 in a nutshell for me when it comes to the lures out of the 300, which was a long time. 
my top 10. Do you want to tell me your top 10? That would be excellent. I'll look into them. If there's something I missed that you felt it should have been up there that I didn't put up there, definitely let me know. But until next time, peace out. Here comes one. Okay. Oh, I gotta grab my net. I gotta grab my net. <laughs>